Healthy childhood eating is incredibly close to my heart. It's something that we need to really concentrate on in life. And while you can't actually think about or control what your kids are eating necessarily at school or at their friends, you can actually control what you're cooking at home. I'm gonna make a simple bolognese and it's a household standard in my house. My mince is beautifully browned. I've got one finely chopped onion and some garlic. So I'm going to add some celery, finely chopped. Great way to get your greens in. Some grated carrot. Stir that to mix it well. And some grated courgette, baby marrows. Now this is a great way you've now got celery, onion, courgette, uh, carrots, a whole lot of hidden vegetables in case your kids don't like them. So you're off to a good start. So as soon as that's sort of fried about a bit and just a bit sauteed, add a can of chopped tomatoes. You could add ordinary tomatoes and chop them yourself, but I'm a bit lazy. And now we're on to the last stage. I'm gonna add a packet of tomato paste, some beef stock powder. Remember there's salt in the beef stock, so beef stock powder is just easier. You could use a cube. Pinch or two of sugar because you've got tomato, so you need to balance the flavor. Cup of water, that's just to make the stock into stock a grind or two of salt and pepper. Don't forget the pepper. Kids actually don't know that they don't like pepper, but they eat it. And that's really it. Bring it to the boil, reduce the heat, put the lid on and let it simmer for about an hour. So I've got a fab bowl of whole wheat penne pasta. Try and include as much fiber as you can into your child's diet. And then we're simply gonna have some beautiful slow cooked bolognese piled on top of this. This is a very healthy portion for a child, but that'll do. Now, I defy any child not to like this, and you would know that you've got a whole lot of vegetables down. But don't just put it on whole wheat pasta, whole wheat couscous, on lovely fresh baguette as a sloppy joe. Put it, add some kidney beans and maybe some corn, put it in a wrap with some uh, guacamole and some yogurt, call it Mexican. I mean, there's a million things you can do. Turn it into cottage pie and have a sweet potato, low GI topping. The options are endless when the basics are good. Enjoy. Great value is more than just a great price. That's why this segment is brought to you by Pick and Pay.